Hey everyone, Michael Talock here. I'm just doing a quick review for Money Movers on uh, DVD from Umbrella Entertainment. Um, as you can see, my son is right over there. I'm just doing a quick one because I don't really have a lot of time today to do it, and I figured Jack would want to uh, get in on the uh, review action. Uh, what do you think, Jack? Do you think you want to do it? Do you want to help me review Money Movers? Come on. Here we go. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, get some oatmeal on your face, buddy. Daddy hasn't been cleaning you lately. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, Money Movers. Money Movers is a... Also, Ripley is going to be barking as well. She is over there. Dummy. Ripley. Ripley. You're on... A YouTube video now. Anyways, Money Movers is released in 1978. It was released around a time when there wasn't a lot of uh, hard, gritty bank robbery films, especially in Australia, um, which oh, yeah. actually yeah, <laughs> which actually resulted in it not doing that well in theaters. It actually did not make a lot of money. Um, it stars what's his name from uh, Cocktail. Uh, do you know who it is? Do you know who? Yeah? Is it Bruce? No, that's the director. Bruce. Brian Brown, maybe? Brian Brown? Could be? Yeah. Yeah. Is it Brian Brown? Yeah? Okay. Anyways, it uh, it's about a um, counting house, the Darcy Security Force yeah. uh, counting house. Yeah. And it was uh, a bunch of inside people that worked there were planning on robbing it. And basically the movie is just following them, figuring out their... Figuring out their plan and how they're going to rob it. Um, yeah, that's really all Money Movers is really about. Uh, the back of it kind of shows that it's a kind of a, what do they say here, a gritty, multi-layered noir film that's fast-paced with lots of action. That's not entirely true. I felt it was a little boring. It was a little slower paced. It took a while to get to a lot of the cool action. It wasn't until the end of the film where uh, a lot of the violent stuff happens. Um, that's when it kind of made up for some of the bad stuff. Um, there's there's a lot of like, uh, it follows one character through most of the film, but there's a lot of things that happen, like different characters are introduced and different things are uh, changing and people are double crossing. and. People are dying, and I'm like, whoa, what's going on here? But, I mean, I have to find, I, I find that as I sat on this uh, film, like I watched it a few days ago, I actually started to appreciate it a little more, and I actually kind of want to watch it again, because I was kind of, I was going in expecting it to be a fast-paced action film, and I was kind of put off by it being slower-paced. So I think I'd appreciate it, thank you, Jack, I think I'd appreciate it a lot more if I go into it knowing what exactly it is now, and I want you the viewer to know that no it's not a fast paced but it does have some pretty good action and it does have a lot of uh you want down buddy it does have a lot of a um a lot of character development um stuff i guess um i don't know it just it was slower paced but the film definitely makes up the film's ending definitely makes up for any of the Kind of boring stuff before it. Sorry, this is like a really disorganized review, but I need to get this done, and Jack is not letting me get it done, so I'm doing it right now. Uh, anyways, watch the movie. If you're gonna watch it, Umbrella Entertainment has released it on DVD. I think it's, uh, I don't know if it's the first time on DVD. I think it might be. Anyways, it does come with uh, special features. Um, there was like a 32 minute uh, special feature, uh, Count Your Toes, a making of featurette with the writer and director Bruce Ber uh, Beresford and cast members Brian Brown, Terrence Donovan, Tony Bonner, uh, and Candy Raymond. Uh, they go through the making of the movie. Um, they talk a lot of it about um, the casting process, um, the success or not success of it, and how it kind of came a cult hit. Um, the director pretty much doesn't care for the movie. Um, he doesn't really remember much of it. Uh, but it was a it was a neat special feature, and then we had a theatrical trailer, and then we had a bunch of uh, trailers for other Bruce Bradford's Umbrella Entertainment releases. So that is Money Movers on DVD. I think you should definitely give it a watch. I was, like I said, put off by how slow it was, but 
starting to appreciate it more, I think, the more I think about it. So I'll definitely go back and watch it. I'm kind of glad that I have it so I can watch it. So yeah, so it's a recommend. Give it a watch. And thanks for watching this really crappily put together YouTube video review starring my son, Jack, Ripley, the barking dog, and me, Michael Tatlock, and poor, poor son of a bitch.